The city of Toronto says it started preparing for this last night, treating bridges, expressways, major intersections with liquid brine. And now that we have snow accumulating on the roads, you can see that here on this hill behind me, which, by the way, is infamous for getting cars stuck on it. I can speak from personal experience. The plows, they have now begun and they will continue to treat the roads through the overnight tomorrow morning and beyond. So we anticipate that this current weather forecast will involve multiple rounds of salting and plowing that will take us straight through into Thursday and most likely into Friday as well. The advice from OPP, if you need to be out on the roads. Give yourself lots of space behind the vehicle in front of you so you can slow down, change lanes or stop if needed and, uh, and be aware of how quickly these conditions can change. And if we're into freezing rain or ice pellets, the roads may not, not look treacherous, but they could be very slippery. Are Torontonians heeding that advice and preparing for this multi-day storm? I'm just batting down the hatches. I got a lot of miniature work to do. I'm a miniaturist. I'm an artist. How are you preparing for the storm? Yes. <laughs> not really doing much. We live in a condo, so we're just out for our walk before it gets too messy, and then we're, we're back home for the day. How does the pup deal with snow? She loves it for some reason. No idea why, but it's her favorite weather. <laughs> <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. For those taking public transit, Go Transit is warning of delays and says its trains will be operating on a reduced and adjusted schedule Thursday, while the TTC is launching its enhanced severe weather plan. This includes deploying additional operators and vehicles, and 41 bus stops in hilly areas have been taken out of service as of 5 p.m. You can find the list of changes on our Extreme Weather Center at toronto.citynews.ca. Now, the city has opened its warming center at Metro Hall. Three other warming centers are set to open at 7 p.m. And a note on closures, Humber College now says its campuses are closing as of 6 p.m. In Bloor West Village, Michelle Mackey, City News.